Hi, let's solve next previous question of contextual language TOC. This question was asked in GATE CS 2017 set 1 question number 38. Let's read the question. Consider the following language over alphabet A, B, C. Let L1 equal to A power N, B power N, C power M, M, N greater than equal to 0 means equal number of A followed by equal number of B followed by any number of C and L2 equal to A power M, B power N, C power N, M, N greater than equal to 0 means any number of A followed by equal number of B followed by equal number of C. Which of the following are contextual language? First L1 union L2, second L1 intersection L2. Four option is given. Let's analyze one by one language. First language one. Which string it will accept? It will accept epsilon. Then it will accept C. It will accept 2C. It will accept any number of C. When n value is 0. Then it can accept simply C power M. Then it can accept A, B, A, A, B, B. Equal number of A followed by equal number B. When M equal to 0. Then it can accept A, B, C, A, B, C, C. A, A, B, B, C, C, 2, A followed by 2, B followed by 2, C like this. So equal number of A followed by equal number B followed by any number of C. Then which string L2 will accept? L2 will accept epsilon A, 2, A, any number of A when N value is 0. It can simply accept A power M. Then it will accept B, C, B, B, C, C. So when m equal to 0, it can accept equal number b followed by equal number of c. Then it can accept a, b, c, then a, a, b, c, then a, 2, b, 2, c, 2, a, 2, b, 2, c. So any number of a followed by equal number b followed by equal number of c. Now what will be union of both? Union of both will be all the string that L1 contain plus L2 contain. So what will be language for that? It will be a power n, b power n, c power m, union a power m, b power n, c power n and m n greater than equal to 0. And this is a CFL as you can design PDA for union. So how will design PDA for this? You can design PDA simply for this. Let this is a power n, b power n, c power m and you can design PDA for this. Let it be a power m, b power n, c power n and you can create another start state and from that initial state by epsilon you can go to initial state of this by just skipping z0. So by just epsilon and skipping z0 you can go to initial state of both the PDA and this will be union of both. You can design union of two PDA that's why it is a contest free language. Next, what will be intersection? Intersection will be epsilon, then a, b, c, then 2a followed by 2b followed by 2c. So, what will be language? It will be a power n, b power n, c power n, n greater than equal to 0. Means equal number of a followed by equal number of b followed by equal number of c. And this is not contest free language, it is contest sensitive language. You can find the union of two languages and you can check whether it is contest free or not. You can find the intersection of two languages and you can check whether it is contest free or not. So intersection is contest sensitive and union is contest free language. And if you know just closure property, you don't need to do all these. According to closure property, contest free language is closed under union and contest free language is not closed under intersection means two contest free language union will be contest free and two contest free language intersection will not contest free it will be contest sensitive if you just know closure property you can simply say this is contest free and this is not contest free now just check with the option in option a it is given one only so answer is option a one only two contest free language union will be contest free but their intersection is not contest free Thank you.